lying on the valley floor surrounded by the Welsh hills is a parkland gem. Today I visit an old foe, Llangothlin Golf Club in North Wales. It's great to be back on a golf course and this first tee at Langothlin is an absolutely stunning start to the round. Oof, three iron, first tee, first shot of the day. I can't wait for this, let's get out there. The thing about Langothlin is there's just everywhere you turn, every tee shot, you're met with this kind of backdrop. They're very inviting for your tee shots and uh, on a sunny day like today it doesn't get any better. Literally, like I said, what an absolutely stunning backdrop. It's inviting, but at the same time you've still got to try and uh, find a bit of short stuff. There's not many fairways I've found the centre of, but uh, I think that's pretty much down the middle. Right, so your game's going okay, eight holes in, you get to the ninth, and uh, it's, it's make or break, it's stroke index one. Everybody who plays Langothlin will talk about the ninth hole, and it's a tough one. So, oh, just stay, stay ball, get down, get down, stay. So I've had to walk, my ball is where you are, but it's 183 from there, so I'm gonna be playing, I don't know, about 200. You can't even see the flag, and to be honest with you, I did not hit a bad drive, but this sweeps around the corner and tucked away there's a green. But a bit you've also got to note is all those red flags down the right-hand side. And we know what that means, it's water, and lots of it. Right, decision's made. We're gonna, we're gonna bottle it, I think, is the... Uh, I'm going to play a 7 iron, I've got the trees overhanging and sort of 190 into that green, I've got no chance. So I think let's not be greedy and see if I can chase the 7 iron down there and rely on a short game. It's always one of them, you just hold your breath a little bit but I think that's bang on you know, it's still running. Right, we've got 80 in, uh, 54 wedge. The thing you'll see in a minute is there's a massive slope in this green. So we should gather on that pin, really, if you can get something. We either land it on that slope or throw it all away, I suppose. That's good. Sit down, ball. This could be good, you know. This could be good. Feed off it. Oh, I didn't get the kick off the bank at all. Roll out, roll out, roll out. Oh! Oh, that's a ball. Be right. Oh, go ball. I just love this when that ball's flying into, oh. That seems decent from back here. But look at that, just look above and just how nice is that? You're surrounded by it. You know what, we travel all over the world and you realise how much beauty is on your doorstep. That beauty can be found in the town itself. I've been coming to Langothlin since I was a child and not for the golf course. 
the picturesque Welsh town sitting adjacent to the River Dee. Steam trains, ice creams, beer gardens, horse-drawn barges. These streets are a hive of tourist activity. Go. I think it's worth a quick mention at this point, just congratulations to the Greens team here. There's only at the moment just two staff working because of the current restrictions in place. The course condition is fantastic and the Greens have been absolutely superb. So it's a great track and it's a long time since I've played here and I forgot how good it was. It's always in good condition. I have been coming here for years. I've, I've played lots of games. It was almost like it was a day out, a bit of a treat that we come here for. Lads day out, all gather and play. And it's, it is a really enjoyable place to play around the golf. And uh, I've, I've really enjoyed it again this morning coming back. I've missed it. North Wales has got some great golf courses. Right, my favourite tee position on uh, this whole course, to be honest with you. The River Dee runs, uh, I mentioned it earlier, it runs parallel with quite a number of holes. It's all the way down this one. But it's that backdrop that I've mentioned quite a few times that I think is absolutely stunning. And if, it's a big if, when you get that ball flying down the middle into that backdrop, it's a decent feeling. Oh, that's not bad. Well, I've just played uh, reload three off the tee on the 17. Because it, it, Langlothan's got some tough holes, narrow fairways. I think you've got to know how to sort of club your way around it. It's certainly not driver off every tee position. And because you need to get into the right side of fairways. And typical example of that is on 17 tight off the tee and then yes yeah, second ball i managed to find middle of the fairway and leave yourself a bit of an angle in but like i said it's uh unfortunately this is three off the tee down the left a bit sit down ball sit down looks long sit oh and that one's just bounced off the back edge. It's a great closing hole and uh, it's a par three. It's 150 from where I'm playing today, all uphill. And once again, I've got some fond memories of this hole and uh, some not so fond. Cut back a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Yes. Okay, stay there now. Happy to finish. Langoflin, I should have come back a lot sooner. The clubhouse watches and waits, conscious of the glare making the first tee shot that little more anxious. And the awaiting galleries make the 18th a walk of fame or shame. I'd also forgotten it's no easy uh, to put on the screen to finish either. Well, hearted mouth, finish with a par. Really enjoyable game.